Okay, so let's try inserting AutoCAD directly into our Word document. So to do that, first I'd like to change the background color. So OP is the shortcut key for options. And you can click on colors under the display tab. Select uniform background and change it into the white color so apply and close so you get that white background next is that we need to insert our title block or copy our title block to paint model space so control c select control c to copy and then paste it in model space Now, since this was drawn in full scale or full size in paper space, we need to scale this up. So SC. If we're going to print at 1 to 100, our scale factor then is 100. So this will be our base point, scale factor 100. Z enter, E space bar or enter. Okay, you might need to do some adjustments here. So double click to edit the text and you might need to adjust this. To its proper orientation. So adjust. Oops. Click outside, let's double click again, see how we can adjust this, there you go, pull this out and then maybe move this, let's see, move, function F8, okay, adjust further, maybe make this two lines, Or maybe you just need to rewrite this a little bit. Okay, maybe adjust that. Ah. Okay. Again, double click. Adjust the width of the text. Double click. Oops and adjust the width okay click outside double click and adjust so some adjustment might be needed or required okay so once you have done that you can now copy let's just copy this so we don't <coughs> <coughs> sorry destroy our setup in the layout tab this is how we used to do it before we, when we didn't have the layout tab okay so of course you don't want this to be in black in in color so you might need to change this to black Unfortunately, blocks maintain their color, so you might need to do some planning when you're doing this. So uh, we can actually do a page setup manager modify. Change this to Adobe Printer for now. Okay. This is the model tab, so I don't really need to change much and I'll just change this to RCTB. Yes, display plot style and uh, click OK. There you go. Now, you do need to have a lot of planning if you're 
you want to do this because line weights are not really showing and I tried this even if I change this line weight here it doesn't seem to appear even if my scale is set to 1 to 100 so that's a little challenge that I need to overcome still but otherwise from here I can now simply select and copy control C then I can go to my Word document maybe just paste I might not even need a text box paste it and the nice thing about this process is that you can actually edit your file in AutoCAD and it will be updated and you do that by double clicking on the pasted image of that drawing so simply paste it gets in it becomes an object it's a little bit smaller so you can make this bigger and uh, by the way images or drawings like this are not to scale so they're not supposed to be scaled anyway so we just need to right click and crop crop the image so that the excess white space will be removed and oops let's do that again remove okay click outside and then stretch now you do need to stretch this way I don't highly recommend that but you know you're just trying to assume the proportion and that looks good for me for now and then click outside and you have your image so let's view this page width okay now line widths are not showing so that's why I don't really like this method that much but you can actually double click on this and it opens back in AutoCAD and you can edit that drawing save it close and your word document will be updated so that may be a plus now I highly recommend that if for, for the file images is okay here you go so file is open notice that this is actually a temporary AutoCAD file so let's just add a line here I'll just add a line here so you can see the change okay and then close this so I'll save and close and if I go back to my oops ah let's do that again let's see what happened I think my file got adjusted so I have this already uh, edited so I should be able to close this and check what happened here so there you go so scale it down a little bit scale this down a little bit and make some adjustment but notice that the line now is uh, here so the drawing got updated it's a little tough working with this file so I think I know what happened the I need to crop it again so so right click crop
Okay, grab this. Oops. Okay, click outside and adjust. Hmm. It's just getting bigger. <clears throat> Maybe I have to crop it upward. Crop this. Oops. Crop. There you go. And sideways. to show the areas that you'd like to appear. Okay. Getting there. And let's click outside. Let's make this a little smaller. Yes, a little more. And right click, crop again. Oops, there you go, and one more, and one more, no, I think we're good, I think we're good, so let's make it a little smaller and crop this downward or to the right, and I think I don't need that, and downward, so I don't have to show that border. Oops. Crop. And downward. So that don't show that line at the top. Or this line here. Or that line right here. Okay. Click outside and then stretch. Oops. and stretch this downward so that it's nicely proportioned so it's not that easy but you can also do that okay so page width or one page okay so maybe i can stretch this downward a little bit yeah that looks a little more proportionate one more yes okay Okay. Of course, you don't need to create that line. You don't want that. But I'm just showing that you can actually edit this back into AutoCAD and this file gets updated. But like what I have shown here, you have to adjust the picture again. Okay, so that's how adding the AutoCAD file into Word uh, just by using the copy and paste option and if if your scale is one one to 150 then you just scale the title block to 150 if it's one to one to 200 then scale the uh, title block to 200 hmm I think that's wrong well 